Okay, I have my 2011 uh, Dodge Ram 3500 Longhorn Edition for sale. Uh, I bought it new. It had uh, three kilometers on it when I bought it. And uh, I've enjoyed every moment of having it. I've done uh, a few trips across Canada pulling things. It's chipped, uh, so it went from uh, 800 foot-pounds of torque to uh, 1,100, or I can select when I'm towing. I usually go to about 900. It's never missed a heartbeat, ever. Uh, I have 128,000 kilometers on it. I've had Amsoil in it. Uh, this is all Rhino liner that came when it was new. Uh, but I right away the first day I put this conveyor belting in and then I end up cutting it out for the new fifth wheel that I put in um, uh, not very many kilometers ago I guess about 20,000 K ago uh, yeah so I put AMS oil in it from the first 4500 K that I had on it which is a bit early because it, it would probably take 150,000 kilometers to break it in uh, which is probably not quite broken in yet, but it's fine. Um, I'll show you the engine. Well, actually, let's get inside and... Uh, well, I'll remote start it. It's got a remote start. They all do. Uh, and probably there's a door op uh, open somewhere. <laughs> That'd be the only reason it won't start, or if it's almost out of fuel, which it's not. And they usually won't start that. Yeah, I think there's the culprit right there. Okay, so hit this twice. So there's 2011 and 12 were the last ones that you could really uh, give a good, a good chip to it. It's a smarty chip and it, um, it has more power, yeah, that wasn't the goal, it was uh, fuel economy, it improved that a little bit, and um, of course the oil is much cleaner because it doesn't have that regen system going on where uh, it's smothering itself with soot and then burns five gallons of fuel every time it regens. Got rid of all that nonsense. And it was installed by a company that used to do the air care um, in Vancouver. So, um, you can see it's got a video system here and there's Bluetooth headphones, both sides over there as well. Only been used a few times. It is a beautiful, beautiful truck this is a weather front that'll come with it and uh, this is just uh, I'm just showing you some of the storage that's a first aid uh, kit I believe emergency kit there's storage under the floor both sides like that both sides are like that these are it's a Longhorn edition so these aren't just regular leather seats these are saddle leather and uh, They'll probably outlast any vehicle. They're not much tougher and heavier. There's um, same thing here. Same thing in there. And on this side, it's you can, the the speakers in there are just incredible. Like the sound system in this is just unbelievable. Sort of like two dashes. There's one in here. There's uh, you got a 110 outlet here, which you turn on up here. No, that's parking brake. Right there. Um, it's got air brakes. Not air brakes. What are you, uh, engine brakes? Like a, what would you call it? Like a, like a Jake brake. Uses in, engine compression. I'm going to pop the hood 
Oh, I see. I didn't put the key in, so it doesn't want you to do that. It doesn't want you to pop the hood without the key, so I'll restart it. Let the coil go out. There we go. Okay, so the reason I'm selling it is because I got nothing left to pull. I'm retired. I spend most of my time overseas. And it's a grocery getter. And it's ridiculous in the grocery getter. So there it is. It is an absolute beauty of an engine. Absolute beauty. That, I trust that engine more than I trust my own heart, and I have a good heart. So, yeah, it is stunning. The tires are uh, Toyo, uh, open country. It's crossed Canada three times, and I've used, I think, not even three mil off the back. So, uh, they're around 11 mil deep, and they're good down to about three. So, we've got a long way to go before we have to worry about tires. And of course everything works it's like a new truck it's like a new truck uh even the windshield's original uh the only thing is uh you know if you examine the paint closely outside there's the odd uh mark or whatever but it's just an incredible truck it has a power rear window and all that stuff and uh i'm not going to be really happy to see it go but it's just the way it is. Isn't it beautiful? And it's uh, it's actually pretty fast. I don't know what it'll do, but I pulled uh, an empty tandem trailer one time after delivering a car for somebody, and uh, a six-cylinder uh, Toyota Tacoma tried to give me a good run up the hill, and I was pulling the trailer and couldn't quite keep with me. So, there's, there's a lot of pull and a lot of speed in that 8,500 pound truck. Uh, it's just a pleasure. And uh, I've never seen, let alone owned, uh, a, a vehicle as awesome as this. So, uh, I've checked out with the dealership uh, what it should go for and the price that's, that I'm going to put on it uh, would be a standard price for that truck with that package, but it wouldn't consider the condition that it's in, it wouldn't consider the low mileage that it has, and it wouldn't consider the fact that it's got AMS oil in it in the engine, in the cooling system, in the transmission, in the differentials, um, everywhere except uh, brake fluid. So even the fuel, I've been using uh, AMS oil as a uh, fuel pump lubricant and all that stuff uh, for the last 100,000 kilometers without fail, because I was an AMS oil dealer anyway. So it is better than new. The truck is better than new because this year and 2012 was better anyway, if you chip it, that is, if you chip it. And it's, it's um, the only thing that's not better than new is any flaws in the paint. Like little things like this, you know, you have little chips in the west, but that's it. Other than that, I would rather have that engine than a brand new one because I'd have to break it in all over again. So, anyway. Thanks, and um, hope to. Uh, oh, I have a truck cap and stuff like that. I'll probably sell it somewhere. Thank you.